Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Ann Reardon and this week we're making this super cute 3D standing up donut cake. He's so cute! This week's Notification Squad shout out goes to Meow Cat. For your chance at a shout out, make sure you subscribe to How to Cook That and click on the bell to turn on notifications and write done in the comments so I know that you have done so. And this week I am super excited to tell you that we have our new merch is launching! Yay! It has been so long since I've had any merch for you and people have been asking, please, can you do more merch? So we have hunted long and wide and found a merch supplier that will ship free worldwide. That's right, worldwide, which is super exciting for someone like me who is in Australia because usually everything ships free in the US only, but this is worldwide so you can go shop your heart out knowing you're paying nothing for postage so what have we got but well, we have one special we have a couple of two specials for launch that will only be on special for the next couple of weeks and then all the prices will go back to normal prices so you've got to get in quick if you want the launch prices so what are they we have a make it a great week apron and a matching make it a great week cup so they're in a bundle together at a special launch price which means you're basically really getting the cup nearly for free so that is a really good special if you bundle those two together and get the launch bundle or you can buy them individually if you just want to buy one of those the other launch thing we have and this one is super special so cute this one is a plushie look at that oh and it says how to cook that on the back and it's got the little smiley face. And if you're feeling tired in class, you can just pull it out of your bag or work and go to sleep. <laughs> it's so cute. And these are on a very special price for the first two weeks only. You can still order it after that and then the order date will cut off because these have to be made to order. So they've got to be all stitched and so on, especially for you. So you have to pre-order those now. You put in your order straight away. First two weeks has a special price, but they won't be delivered to you. They'll start shipping sort of start of October. So you'll probably get it towards the end of October. So you could order those now, nice and early and ready for Christmas if you wanted to. It's so soft and so cute. Oh, I want to keep it. This one's my one. <laughs> so you can order that below. Have a look, check out the link below because there are other things in the store as well. And all of the first orders, so all of the people who order early will also get a special signed postcard from me with the recipe on the back for the sugar bowls there. I have sat and personally signed all these cards so that they can go out with the merch to you just to say, Thank you for being lovely and wonderful. One of my favorites, I'll give you a quick look and then you gotta to go to the store and check out the rest. There's a How to Cook That Kawaii Cute Apron. There's a Make It A Great Week Blue Hoodie. There is heaps of stuff, so go check it out. This is very exciting. Okay, so to make your super cute cake version of this guy, what you will need to do first is bake some of the vanilla cake. So for that, you'll need flour, butter, sugar, eggs, baking powder and vanilla paste. Put the baking powder in with your flour and cream together the butter and sugar until they're light and fluffy. And I'll put all these recipe quantities on the howtocookthat.net website for you in grams and ounces and cups and I'll link to that below. Add in the vanilla paste and the eggs and mix until they're well combined. Then tip in your flour and mix it some more just until you can't see any more flour. Don't over mix it. Spread that mixture into three trays and bake it in a moderate oven for a little over 20 minutes. To make our donut flavored frosting, place the cream into a saucepan and add into that four cinnamon donuts. Add in some extra cinnamon and bring them to the boil and then let it simmer for about four minutes to let that donut flavor infuse all the way through the cream. Tip that into a bowl and mix it just to break up the donuts. And then you wanna chill that in the fridge until it's completely cold. Once it is cold, whip it and then add in a few tablespoons of icing sugar to sweeten it. I'm really pleased with how this experimental frosting turned out. It's really lovely and creamy texture and it tastes just like donuts, which is what we wanted. I'll show you my easy DIY way to make weird shaped cake boards for carved cakes. The first thing you need to do, like I've done there, is glue your template piece onto the cereal box and cut around that. You can get the template pieces for this cake from the website and as I said, the 
link to that is below and then repeat that with the same shape so you end up with four layers of card glued together now because the glue is wet this is still quite soft and flexible it's not going to support the cake so what you need to do is microwave it for about 20 seconds push it down and it will be instantly dry and now it is firm and exactly how we want it then you just want to wrap that in foil and you've got your own custom cake board donuts don't usually stand up without falling over obviously so we're going to need some support we'll put a rod down the middle and two cake boards one just above the hole and one near the bottom where it starts to widen out I'm also using some cake support tubes to hold the boards up. You need to cut them to the length that you have between your boards. Place your templates on the cake and cut around all of those so you have all your layers ready to go. Put your first cake support in place over the rod and add your first layer of cake. Cover that in a thin layer of your donut frosting and then push in your second support and add the first cake board on top. Keep layering that up with strawberries, cake and frosting and with one of my layers I'm piecing together offcuts so that we don't need to bake another whole tray cake to make that one up. Using your template look where the hole is in the middle of the donut and place your second support down the other side of it. Then add your cake board on top of that. Stack the remaining layers of cake using your donut frosting and strawberries between each layer and then place your template in front of the cake and trim around the edges, making it rounded like a donut. Next, cut around the center hole and use a spoon to scoop out the cake so we have a hole going right through it. Use a serrated knife to take off a tiny bit from the edges so that you round the corners out so it looks more like a donut shape and less like a tire. Just take a little bit off at a time. It's easy to take a bit more off, but it's hard to add it back on if you take too much off. So just a little bit at a time. Do the same around the center edge of the donut so that the hole is sloping in. Then cover the whole cake in vanilla buttercream, just spreading it everywhere. Once it's all covered, use some acetate to smooth out your buttercream and curve around the donut. And then you want to refrigerate that for a couple of hours. Roll out some light brown fondant and place it over your donut. Gently rub using the palm of your hand over the cake and then at the edges, pull up the excess and squeeze it together along the shape of the cake using the sides of your fingers, just pushing them together. Get some scissors and cut off the majority of the excess so that fondant isn't pulling down with the weight of the excess. Then squeeze the join together again and then cut it off as close to the cake as you can. Just make sure it's nice and neat and then gently rub it with the palm of your hand to smooth it. Trim around the bottom leaving a little bit of extra fondant sticking out and then just push that little bit under, tucking it under the base. For the centre use the palm of your hand to start to indent it in, then use a ball of fondant to indent it further. Make a small hole in the very centre and then using your ball of fondant just push the other fondant towards the edges. It's not going to reach the whole way through but we want it nice and flat and smooth. Add a strip of fondant to the center there to cover all of the cake and then to cover that join that you can see there we're going to make a paste. Just take some of your fondant and a little bit of water and use your back of your spoon just to sort of squash the fondant into the water and keep doing that until you have a smooth paste and then just add a little bit of it on to hide the join. Using your template, cut around the drips out of pink icing for the front of the donut then just Follow the same sort of shape, leaving room for the sides and a bit of a bit for the top and make some more drip shapes at the back. Rub a little bit of water onto the top of the cake and add your pink icing on top. Lift and lower the fondant to get rid of any creases and just to smooth it out. Cut around the mouth shape out of black fondant and then use your template as a guide as to where it should be right in the middle at the center and the front there. Add an oval of red and squash it down for his tongue. And then to make the sprinkles, you can either roll a thin snake of the colors that you need or use a fondant extruder like I am and make a long snake. These cost a few dollars on eBay. So if you've got time to order one of those, I'd suggest you get one because they make it much easier. Stretch it out nice and straight and cut even pieces for your sprinkles. 
Repeat that with the red and then the yellow fondant and then add them into place using a little bit of water to make them stick. Now for his eyes you want to roll a snake of brown and bend it to fit the shape on the template. Then take a ball of brown and cut it in two to make two even pieces. Roll each of those into a ball again and then use your finger to squash it down to make a circle for the round part of his eye. Use a tiny bit of water and then add each of those eyes into place. Now to decorate the cake board you can use fondant or you can use a piece of fabric like I'm using today and then just spread it evenly over the board. And there you have your super cute donut with vanilla cake, donut flavoured frosting and fresh strawberries between the layers. Subscribe to How To Cook That for more crazy sweet creations. Click here for more of my videos and don't forget to click on the link below and go check out everything that's in store and pre-order yourself one of these cute little plushies. Make it a great week and I'll see you on Friday.